at this point, you can't even be mad at Sony. You just gotta, like, clap and be like, you know what? You guys are trying. You, you guys are trying. So, yeah, Sony is back at it. This time, Silver and Black, the Silver Sable and Black Cat film, that's not happening. Instead, why not just do Silver Sable? I could give you a hundred reasons, but hey, let's talk about the Silver Sable film that's back on. So if you guys recall, after the huge success of the first Venom film, Sony decided to throw everything at the wall and see what sticks. The things that stuck are Craven the Hunter, Venom sequels, Morbius, and of course, Madam Web. The things that did not stick were the likes of El Muerto, which was going to star Bad Bunny, Hypno Hustler, Jackpot, Nighthorn, Night, Night Death, Death Note, De Death Watch, The Spawn Ripoff, I always forget his name, Night Terror, I'm gonna go look this up, I know I have a folder for it. Um, God damn, what is your name? Ah, yeah, Nightwatch. Hey, I think I said that. Yeah, Nightwatch. There we go. Look at our big old buddy Nightwatch. Yeah, somehow that didn't stick, right? Neither did Silver and Black. Silver and Black was a film that actually got to the point where there were about two and a half weeks to shoot. They even had the full costumes and everything. From what we understand, they screen tested actresses and they were ready to cast the final two actresses to play Felicia Hardy, Black Cat, and Silver Sable. And then it fell through. Well, now it's back on, but this time, instead of being silver and black, it's just going to be silver, with Silver Sable being the star of her own standalone film. Now, I think most of you know that Silver Sable operates in this, like, weird, um, how do I put this? Not really a full-on villain, not really a hero. She's somewhere right there in that gray area, you know? Well, apparently Sony wants to explore this, and they think they, they got a, uh, female... Craven on their hands. And again, Sony is riding high on Craven. They think this is going to be their billion dollar Spider-Man ticket right next to Spider-Man and Venom. And who knows? Maybe it will, maybe it won't. Uh, something makes me think Silver Sable isn't going to be that. But again, who really knows? I know at one point it was rumored that Anya Taylor-Joy was possibly up for the role of Silver Sable, but that might have been uh, confused with the whole New Mutants thing. Or maybe she was up for both. Who really knows? Um, at this point, you know what? I'll take it. I'll take a Silver Sable project. I like the character. How many people have said that in the last decade? Probably not many. But I'll take it. For the sheer fact that if it's terrible, we can just continue to laugh at bad Sony decisions. Well, everybody, thank you for watching that video. And as always, you can like, subscribe, share, do whatever you will. Check out the recommended video that's popped up somewhere on the screen. And also, if you would like additional content, including more discussions and more unfiltered content, check out what we offer to the members section, which has new videos going up all the time.